Hello YouTube, thought we'd do another video here. This is going to be part three of the MERS antenna build. As you may notice, my antenna is a little different than the last video I did. And that's because we had a little mishap. I broke off the connector. If you notice here, I am missing the center connector. So I broke that off. And why that broke off is because I had, I was trying to do a 5 8 wave antenna and I had the brass tubing on there and I didn't epoxy it on there yet because I wanted to see how the antenna was going to perform. And the brass tubing kind of wiggled enough and it broke the connector clean off. There's supposed to be a little part sticking out there. The center con center conductor. So that broke off. I'm like, oh, no big deal. I got a whole bunch of these connectors. I'll just replace it. Well, I started to think, well, wait a minute here. If I'm having a problem, I mean, yeah, I know. I, I, could, I should put epoxy around it. That would probably solve the problem. But then I started thinking, you know, this antenna, when you do a 5 8 wave, ends up being uh, four feet. Uh, let me check here. Actually, I can tell you, yeah, three feet and 10 inches. So it ends up getting kind of long. So I started to reevaluate the situation. I thought, well, you know, why not just use the other antenna that I had for the GMRS? Will that work? So I went to here, and I went down to quarter wave. And lo and behold, I can adjust this antenna the length to what I need. I had to... The only thing I had to really change was the ground rods. They're longer. These are longer. Not a big deal. But so what I did was is I unbolted. If you remember my other videos, when I do this, I use for ground planes, I just drill holes and I push the connector through. If the antenna was on here, it would just go through the hole like this and I bolt them on. That's how I do that. So it was easy to change so I just change it out and I had to readjust the length on this antenna and that's what I did. And the, and the reason why I changed my mind is I need the antenna small to begin with because you keep in mind this has got to go on to a 24 foot pole and it's a painter's pole so it's not meant to be a lot of weight. Um, so that's kind of why I decided at the last minute to let's make it into a quarter wave. And, and if you look at here too, before I forget to mention this, if you select, see the length changes, but the ground rod length does not. So that's kind of that's kind of neat. Um, I don't remember on the GMRS if I think I don't remember if that changed quite a bit or not. But at any rate. So if you're making a MERS antenna, uh, you can keep the same ground lengths and then easily switch out to different, you know, whether you want a full wave, but be mindful, look at the length, look how tall this thing gets when you start doing a full wave, three quarter wave. Um, I did a five eighths wave thinking two feet ain't, three feet ain't bad, but it gets to be, the weight starts to come pretty quick. Um, these ground rods on here, that I found, I had laying around here. I didn't buy them. They're steel tubing, so they're 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 hollow, but they got a little weight to them. So when I mount this on the pole, I I I'm gonna have to come up with a way of mounting it on the test antenna mass up pole. Um, also, too, we're gonna be comparing the distance. That's the whole point, obviously, of doing this. With the MERS antenna to the GMRS antenna, I got people saying, oh, yeah, it works better. I got people saying, no, it don't. So we will find out. The difference between the two is GMRS is a higher frequency and more wattage. MERS is a lower frequency and lower wattage. So um, hopefully the next video we'll do a distance test. As for the performance of this antenna, it's not bad. If you look, as you can see here, I have it set to the 
151.820 frequency. That's the first one in the list. I just picked that one for no particular reason. I just picked it. Um, I don't know if you want to. They, they don't really label them channel one, channel two, or channel three. I call it channel one because it's the first one in the list. So that's why I picked that. My SWRs are 1.2, um, which is real good. Now, you know, keep in mind I'm inside here with you know a lot of interference, so I'm sure I'll have to readjust this when I take it outside, and that might be the reason why I don't have these. Um, ground rods at 45 degree, degree angles because the impedance shows it being really good but I think that's due to be inside I got 49 49.938 for impedance which is not bad let's go back to the SWR SWR is 1.243 at this frequency, I have my marker set at uh, 1.5151.820. So where I got my marker set. So we're doing real good. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to retweak this when I when I take it outside. I'll have to rebend these, and pro they're probably going to be more at a 45 degree angle. Um, but I'll have to do a little more tweaking. Now let's get a close up of this antenna. Uh, I apologize for the lighting. It's either too much light or not enough light. It's <laughs> it's the darnest thing. So what I did here is, as you can see, yeah, I got to add a couple more bolts. But this is how I do my ground planes. I can easily unbolt these and switch these out easily. Yeah, I know I braised this one on. I could have used bolts if I wanted to, but... I just didn't want to run a town, to be honest with you. So, at any rate, I just bolt these on here, and I can easily switch all ground planes. Now, as for adjusting it, what I did was I took a wing nut, and I put it through a bolt. Let me see if I can get this better here. You know, kind of better. At any rate, I put it through a bolt. There's a wing nut on there, and I can easily adjust the length of this antenna. Just by unscrewing that. And then move it up and down. I don't have to cut it. So that's what's nice about that. So um, that's how we're doing that. And like I said, I can just unswitch. I can switch these ground planes fairly easy. Unbolt it and put another one in there. So that's how we're doing that. Uh, so that's that's really about it. Once we get, once uh, the weather gets better and I get a little more time, Hopefully we'll do a distance test and uh, we'll see if it's better or not. Some people say it is, some people say it's not. And uh, technically speaking, it should be better. It's lower frequency. Lower frequency should travel better. But on the other hand, it's lower wattage. So, so that's probably going to make it be where the difference may come in due to wattage. Uh, so there you have it. So if you have any questions... Any comments, post them down below, and please subscribe, and thank you.